No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Color Grading Central, professional color grading with Color Finale. Shutterstock, where ideas take shape. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. Big Stock, videos and images for everyone. Hey everybody, we are here with Andy and he's going to talk to us about ACES. Um, first of all, what is ACES and uh, how can it help uh, DPs and filmmakers? ACES stands for the Academy Color Encoding System, which is a system that provides basic framework for motion picture and television production. It's about color management, digital in image interchange, and having an archival master for the digital archive of the future. Excellent. Nice. And is ACES something, um, I mean, our audience is, is comprised of mostly independent filmmakers, uh, for example. Um, what does it mean for, for somebody like that? So what ACES means for an independent filmmaker is you basically get color science in a box. Right? You don't have to be a color science expert or imaging engineer to get the benefits of years and years of color science that the Academy and its partners have worked on. So you can really, you can punch above your weight. All right? You can work on harder projects, get uh, more complex, more pleasing imagery with a little less effort than you might otherwise expect. Excellent. And uh, I was recently at the um, ASC Cinematographer Clubhouse for a for a event, and um, they were asking a lot of questions um, about the camera. It was the AJA Scion camera, and they were asking a lot of questions about how how it applies to Aces. How how are um, how are the new cameras that are sort of coming out and uh, the way that people are using them fitting into Aces or is, is there any resistance there, or, or what it, how does it, you know, like, why, why are people asking that, for that criteria from a camera? Well, the first step of getting imagery into ACES is to essentially normalize the data that comes out of a camera or from a visual effects pipeline. So ACES provides uh, transforms to go from camera native formats into ACES. So any camera can be compatible with ACES. There's some technical work that the manufacturer or a third party would have to do, but there are very clear specifications from the Academy about how exactly to do that and technical metrics to know if they're doing a good job or not. So if you look for the ACES logo or an ACES product partner logo, that identifies companies that have committed themselves to being essentially ACES compatible. Great, and um, what brings you guys to NAB this year? What brings us to NAB? Well, this is where all the equipment manufacturers show up. We thought this was the right place to launch ACES version one to the industry and get all the attention that Oscar tends to bring along with him and reflect that back out to our product partners who are building ACES enabled products. Nice, and what's the feedback on the floor band so far and the, and, and the reception to the system? It's been pretty amazing. The booth has been nonstop uh, traffic here. Uh, we've had top filmmakers stop by. We've had independent filmmakers stop by. We've had television editors stop by because they're told they, they need to start using ACES in their editing systems. So it's really been a great response. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, Andy. Uh, I think we probably learned a lot right now. You're quite welcome. Yeah.